Okay, it's uh, 5.40 in the morning, a couple of days after the installation, and I've added some extra saddles here and here. And I don't know if you can hear, but we have a very strong windstorm at the moment. Uh, blustery, very, very powerful winds. Um, I had uh, neglected to put the saddles on until a few minutes ago, and uh, yes, it was definitely uh, required. I also uh, added another reinforcement on the on this section here. Uh, that's definitely required as well. And uh, so the weak point now is just here on the rafter. We've just got this single piece of construction timber. And I don't know if you can hear. I'll put the phone against it when the wind blows. But we can definitely hear um, stress on this board. Uh, so I'm going to reinforce that. Uh, so it's taking the load um, just as it comes out of that hole there and really is there. It, it does seem to be the pivot point here. So I'm going to reinforce by putting extra wood on this side. In fact, I'm going to put a steel um, angle there to help with that. We've got the pole on the other side, which should give um, some lateral support, but you can also see at this uh, at this point, it is still transferring a fair bit of movement from the uh, top down through the pipe. Um, down the bottom here, it's, moved, it's uh, pretty solid, but I did notice before I put this uh, piece of wood here, it was, there was considerable movement, so this gap here is definitely need to be sealed. So I'll do that and get back to you in just a sec. We do have the saddle on here now. Put a, uh, put a steel angle on there. There's a bit of a gap, which is a pity. Might uh, put some wedges under that. still do have some considerable movement there. I do have some pressure foam under here which I imagine will deteriorate over time so that may still, that problem may come back. Okay but I still think I need a bit more reinforcing here so I'll do that. Okay so I've added uh, steel reinforcing there and a wooden reinforcement around here but truly I don't think it's good enough. I think a better design is this this piece here. And so you can see here at these big blusters. Which hopefully you can see again. Um, the pole still moves all the way down the vertical axis. So so I think the right answer here is um, well, given also that uh, at the moment as of as of right now, we haven't produced a single watt, even with this ridiculous amount of wind. Uh, we have definitely got some kind of issue. Now I should re so so the plan will be to go up on the roof and pull the thing down. And you can see there that we have quite a bit of movement there, and it's just not uh, going to be safe long term. So the what we will do is go take the generator down come back and revisit this. As it turns out, we have a builder coming today for another reason. I'll ask him if he can come up and um, give a recommendation, but I imagine what we need to do is fully reinforce, um, make a structure on that goes, that transfers the weight um, from this single narrow beam here. Um, and we'll bring that all the way down both sides of the pole and transfer it to that heavy beam onto the floor and this um, this should be a piece that goes so instead of see it's cut off there and we've got a smaller piece here where the saddles are that should be a continuous piece uh, probably ideally you know, we've got we want to take the lateral force so yep yeah, so we'll we'll take from here um, onto the top of this section and then have uh, a angled reinforcement all, all the way down there but again since the uh, generator is uh, producing zero watts even uh, under ideal conditions here um, we'll 
first step is to take the generator back down off the roof and we will um, revisit the whole installation. So I was, did have the system running off this higher quality MPPT controller here. Um, and that was reading that there was zero volts coming from the, sorry, zero amps coming from the, from the generator. And I thought, no, that can't possibly be right, given the speed that it was turning. Um, and uh, so I swapped to the controller that came with the device. And uh, so that was seven hours ago. And after seven hours, we went from 12.5 volts on the charge state of the battery to 12.5. So absolutely zero power is being produced. So it's definitely getting volts on there. Uh, we'll see how many we can get. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, sorry, if I had somebody else to hold the thing, I will do that. Uh, one second. Yeah, sorry about that. So we can see that there is definitely uh, reading volts and this MPPT controller also was showing that there were volts on the line, uh, but we are getting zero power. So often both controllers. Now, so I thought the laws of physics would apply here. And given that it was definitely producing voltage, if you put it under some battery load, you would get some kind of response and if I get the probes on you know it'd be good if I had a I'll tie them on again sorry there's no one else to help me with the camera so one second so on the voltmeter we're showing a one volt maybe two on a good day and if you can hear that wind let's go out and have a look at what it looks like spinning so if you can hear uh, that's the speed we're turning and again this is a very bad uh, location to have it to have the generator. You can see there's quite a bit of movement in that pole as well. So as I was talking about um, guy ropes in the past, uh, and yep, even, even the short, man, that, that is a nice gust going there. And you can see the, the clothesline above me is actually <clears throat> doing a bit better than the wind generator. So we have a lot of blustery wind and we are getting up to some decent spin there and we are getting a fair bit of vibration, which will be actually impeding the ability of the generator to, to uh, get a nice continuous flow because that wobble will um, cause uh, fluctuations. And uh, so this, uh, again, not being an ideal spot, uh, we still have quite a bit of movement there and, and we're not producing any volt, any, well, any decent voltage even, I thought. I thought actually we were getting decent voltage, but we are not. Um, and so there's no way that the battery's ever gonna charge um, uh, with this generator the way it is. So um, the only thing is to go up on the roof and pull the generator down. Um, and uh, again, it proves, uh, proves quite, quite a bit that uh, given, given the amount of bluster we have here and winds right there, um, and we have very little turning. The, the roof line is actually shielding the generator from the wind a fair bit. However, given the times that we do, we are seeing huge um, amount of spinning there, uh, <laughs> spinning at probably the maximum rate. Um, and we are getting very low volts and absolutely no current. Uh, but again, it, uh, the, the uh, lack of rigidity there on that pole is definitely uh, uh, hindering us a bit, but there's no way, uh, there's, there's no way the generator is actually working as it's designed. So uh, back to the drawing board it seems, and probably a return of the generator.